This is the talk of Music City Real Estate. Welcome back to another episode of the Talk of Music City Real Estate. Where we educate and motivate all things real estate. My name is Monty Moore with Realty One Group Music City. Hey, and I'm Carrie Ann with CMG Financial and my mortgage team. Every week we'll be posting a new episode chock full of Nashville real estate value. Yes, and you could sub- you could what could you do? You could follow <laughs> you could. along and subscribe at, at talkmusiccity.com. Got a question for us? Ask away at questions at talkmusiccity.com. Hey Monty. Hey, Carrie Ann. Well, clearly, I'm being quite human today. Uh, yes, you are. You know, you just make super some mistakes. Woman. I think I'm. When, I'm we, when we do it, it's I'm all right. I'm feeling a little intimidated with two super women here amongst I, us. Maybe you I know? was intimidated by this one next to me here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, mean, I, I get excited. I didn't even know she was coming today. I was so I excited when it. I saw her walk in the room. I know it. Marble and Curiel, we're so excited to see you with Marble us today. And okay, Marble. Yay. Thank um, you. You know, it's been a couple of years now. I, I, I wish I would have had time to look it up um, as to when you, the last time you were sitting around this table with us. I know. But I th- think you might have been in the business for six months, nine months, something I like that. I love your story. Okay. You have a good story. And the reason why we brought you on is because you had just graduated from, I believe, if my memory is, serves me right, that you had just graduated from the mentorship program here, ROGMC, with the one and only um, Joey Riles. And she's you had, such a talent. She's such an amazing mm-hmm. woman, just such an amazing woman. And uh, you had, um, you know, of course, great things to say about her, but, and she feels the same about you. But it was so interesting to see such quick success um, And I'll never forget, I will never forget our first interview, sitting down with you, and you looked in my eyes and you said, failure is not an option. (laughs) And and I've always, I think one of the reasons why you're one of my favorites, if I could have a favorite child, which I don't, we love all our 200 plus people. I'm one of his favorites. (laughs) (laughs) It's because you approached this this increasingly challenging business with that kind of commitment and that mm-hmm. kind of heart. It wasn't like, well, I like, I like to look at homes. No offense to anybody who likes to look at homes, and that's why you got into real estate. Um, or I've been flipping homes, so I think I should get in real estate. Those are all legitimate. But you've got it with this business to hit the kind of success you were hitting, you have to have that kind of commitment, that kind of single focus. Failure is not an option. I love it. I remember you uh, just reiterated the story, but I remember it really clear from mm-hmm. before when she said, where, when she st- just got her license, and actually she didn't have a license. That was the whole part yeah. of the story, right? <laughs> yeah. So she had the flyers and she had all the things and she was ready to go out and rock and roll, um, yet not yet being fully licensed almost. Um, and uh, I think your your leader of some mm-hmm. sort was just like, well, you know, it's this gonna- was another company, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah different company, not him. <laughs> but this is it's going to come. You know, it's going to come. As in, it's not going to happen tomorrow. And you're like, oh no, it's you happening know, today. It's <laughs> happening today. What are you talking about, right? I mean, so from day one, you've had that spirit um, and that drive, which I think is is quite amazing, and it's shining bright even today. Well, and, and part of the reason I wanted you to come on, Marblin, other than, you know, for, for this, this the, what we shared already, is that you've done something that some people uh, have, uh, and that is, you know, they've decided to maybe go into another market, like you did, you, you and your family moved to a whole other state. And when you do that, um, sometimes it's real tempting just to say, because I know I did it. You know, when I moved up here from Florida, I had a great business going on, and and I just, you know, kind of single focused and I tried to sell what I had going on there, but it didn't bring anything and because hard to sell goodwill. But you you decided, OK, momentum is a precious thing. I'm going to keep it going. And so how do I do that? And then you, we, we talked a little bit and you were able to do that from um, Pennsylvania and you started building a business there. But then you decided to come back. The point of the, me bringing that up is you've only been back in the saddle here, you know, it, it, live and in person for somewhere around a year. Mm-hmm. And so the fact that you are now leading this company, this office here in Franklin with over 100 agents, that you're leading this organization with the most number of units sold so far uh, this year, that's incredible and only to be, have been back a year is what I'm saying, okay? Because normally, that, normally that's an accomplishment from somebody who's been around for a while, you know, that you're going to see that kind of accumulation of business. So I, I, I really applaud you for that. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as we were talking about earlier i think that it comes from being coachable moldable um before i left to pennsylvania 
you sat down with me and you said, hey, listen, Marvelin, I don't know if this is a wise decision. I've done this before mm -hmm. and it was not good for me. Um, and you gave me a few pointers and I took it to heart and I said, he has so many years of experience, you know, this is a wise man talking to me and I'm going to run with it, you know, and I will not go through what he went through. And I was just holding on to dear life and I just did what I knew how to do. And that was just give people the best service I could possibly give and just show them I truly care. I'm not just here for the money. I care about you you and your family mm -hmm. and you're telling me someone said no to you but I'm here to tell you that I will say yes I don't know how long it's going to take me but we will make it happen if you believe in me I believe in you and we'll make it work and that's exactly what I did that's amazing amazing and what you forgot passion. about um sharing that a lot of your clients speak Spanish and so the 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 clientele that you had supporting you here did not speak Spanish is that what you said the the the, per, the person helping you here yes um so my my demographic of clients they pretty much all speak spanish mm -hmm. only and so i honestly at the at the time i had no idea how i was gonna um structure everything from afar and yeah. so i said well i will go ahead and connect with someone who also has my same passion mm -hmm. drive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my drive mm -hmm. However, I need to make sure that I am still the one communicating, mm -hmm. okay? And so I connected with someone and she would help me show houses and I did everything for my client. I was their main point of contact. She was feet on the from ground here, but yeah, you were feet. doing everything but else. But I was doing absolutely everything mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, today I actually received a phone call from someone that I spoke to a year ago and he said, hey, do you remember me? I have a new <laughs> phone. And I was like, oh, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I mm -hmm. don't. And he said, well, are you still in Pennsylvania or are you here because I need you to help me? I don't care if you're in Pennsylvania. Mm. and I was like no I am here now and he's like great you know so it, that's awesome it that's made awesome. me feel amazing right. because I was like wow he's calling me a year later and at this point he doesn't even care where I'm at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know well because you can provide you know that that service that confidence that trust you know even through the phone that's mm -hmm. amazing that that means you've you've done your homework you have studied your craft you know for as long as you have um, and and doing an amazing job with it Marlon you know I I think it just I don't I guess it just now to, to hear you share that and to see the conviction in your eyes and the, and the beauty in your smile you know I think that you know if 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 there's any secret sauce here you know because everybody you know we've had a couple of uh, top producer panels at the uh, um, Nashville office and had some awesome people share some incredible stories mm -hmm. and just amazing amazing people and everybody's looking for that secret sauce that silver bullet that magic formula that lead company who will you know <laughs> and potion. I just saw it summed up in your smile I saw it from this when you said I care Mm. I'm going to make the, we're at, and, and, and then managing the expectation. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we're going to get to the finish line. We're going to get you a home. That's it. And, and, and when somebody is buying, you know, we, we, again, we, we all, we all know this, that people have to buy the messenger before the message that they have to share ever matters. And so to be able to speak with that level of conviction, uh, you had me one over it. If I didn't have my license, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, I seriously, <laughs> great job. Cause honestly, to have if to to meet a realtor that yeah i mean so many people are growing up so afraid of their shadow and so afraid they might offend somebody right. and so afraid of what what i don't know what to, i can say i can't say master bedroom anymore and all this kind of stuff you know but that that doesn't play a role here in your world because they know that you care for them as a hu on a human level and you're going to help them find their dream home mm -hmm. and, and eventually i mean again i think that's a part of managing the expectations you know so, so i applaud you so yes. much I mean, absolutely. The secret sauce. My my secret sauce is just care. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my very first client here in Tennessee, I didn't know anyone. It was just my family, mm -hmm. and that's it. And family. When I say family, it was just children and husband. 
that's it. So I had no referrals, nothing. And I just said, when I get that very first family, I will treat them like royalty, Mm -hmm. you know? And then from there on after, I treat every single client like royalty, the way I want to be treated. Wow. And with that being said, I do want to share a story. Um, this was about a month a month ago. Um, I was driving by, I stopped to show a house, and I had a band pull up, and they were just looking, and you know, I went over, and I'm like, hey, can I help you? My clients weren't there yet. And so they're like, yeah, we want to get in that house. And I said, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this house right now. I have my clients coming, and I would not want to do a disservice to them, okay? Mm -hmm. And also, I don't want to do a disservice to you because I am a referral-based agent and I treat everyone the same way. Hope everybody heard that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I said, I I treat everyone the same way. And I think that I owe you the time. And so we could go ahead and meet tomorrow at my office and I will do the same thing that I do to all of my referral clients because I want to give you that VIP service. Wow. And they showed up to the office. And <laughs> ah. honestly, I was like, oh, my God, they're here, you know. Mm-hmm. And I went through everything with them. And I said, OK, this is how you've been doing everything. And they even named big agents while they were in their car. And honestly, I was like, oh, wow. You know, they know this is not their first mm-hmm. time buying at this point. They're investing, mm-hmm. you know. And so I, I was just like, I was stunned that they were there in front of me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. And so from there on out, they're like, Marvelyn, we want you to represent us. We love everything, the way you're explaining it. I mean, we closed already. And now they're on their second investment home with me. Wow. And it was just a drive up. It was just a drive up. What? And I could have jumped on it and I could have said, ching, you know, ready, let's go. Right. Yeah. But no, I was like, no, this is not okay because this is not how I feel about you and your family. You know, I'm going to treat you the same way that I treat everybody else because I'm not here for the money. Mm-hmm. I'm here for you. I'm here for you to remember me because I do feel that this is the way I will keep on growing. You know, this is how how I feed my children, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and so I have to give them the VIP service. And it sounds like you have a system that you've created, right? Which is that VIP service, but there is a beginning, middle, and end that, and you, and you maintain that and you stay consistent with that with all people. Mm-hmm. So if one client um, is able to share that story, it should be very familiar to the next, right? Um, exactly. And that is probably where that snowball effect comes into play because you are a referral based real estate mm-hmm. agent mm-hmm. Uh, where everybody can say Marbleyn did this wow I experienced that mm-hmm. you know and continue and continue continue amazing yes. nice yeah, job most, most people would have in that Just scenario jumped. would have said yeah right. come on yeah. let's uh, go, let's go look at it real quickly and mm-hmm. And then they would have passed because your then your clients would have come in and you'd had to focus on them and you'd, you'd tried to juggle two things and would have done bad on both probably but possibly you know I'm sure you would have done great but but you're you're right your first clients they had the priority there yes and they were going to be coming soon I love that I I really do because you re- and and again I th- we're always looking for what's differentiating differentiating to you versus the other eighteen thousand real estate agents in Middle Tennessee well I'll tell you what everybody's got that what's in it for me kind of attitude but to, to, you know, I've always said over the years that people don't mind paying for Ritz Carlton experience if they get a Ritz Carlton experience. What they hate f- doing though is p- feel like they paid for that Ritz Carlton and got and had to stay at the Days Inn. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you're you're separating yourself from the reputation of you know it's just about the money. To let me serve you, let me honor you, and let me make this 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 experience the most important that I can t- to you and serve yes. you. Then. <clears throat> so, with that being said, um, with experiences, um, I've had clients who have gone to buy their second home with builders. Okay, so there's a few builders that if you go in there and you see the home without an agent at that point Mm -hmm. they they will not pay your agent's commission okay right that's we don't like i mean anyhow i'm not saying (laughs) 
<laughs> Mahi. She almost said something. <laughs> so I, I've had... I'm not going to mention any names. I'll mention some initials. No, I won't. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. And so I, I've had clients who have gone to these builders and they say, well, we won't pay your agent's commission. And my clients tell me, Marvelin, this is what they said, but I don't care. I need you to help me and I will pay you your commission. Mm. And when they see that, I'm like, wow, yeah. they mm. saw what I did for them. Right, right. You they know? see your value. They, they see it. my value. They mm -hmm. saw what I brought to the table and that mm -hmm. means the world to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. You That's know? better than the money part. Mm -hmm. It's better than money. <laughs> like, I just, wow. Makes um, you have goosebumps. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. I mean, you are truly building, and I think you've done it from day one, the first time we got to, to meet her, but you've been building your business like a business, you know, truly, right? You did not allow anything to, you know, change the routine. Um, and you didn't, you weren't, you, you sold it with a smile you know, you were able to um, make make that process, um, you know, shine truly bright, which keeps you organized, mm -hmm. right? Which keeps, there's a system, there's a, you know, there's just that ability to continue one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're able to create that foundation of, of growth. Two equals four equals eight. Mm -hmm. You know, you're able to continue to, to mm -hmm. be, you know, the best, um, you know, within such a large organization. So that is, you should be super proud of yourself because I know it's you. not easy to do, especially when life has you move into a different state, you know, mm -hmm. and kind of navigating through all of that and building a business, you know, there. And Nashville's different than Pennsylvania, you oh know? God, and yes. so, um, you know, you've got to, and I think laws are different, you know, yes, too. I mean, are. Is a, a house is a house, but they're different houses because yeah. I knew, I knew. <laughs> oh, girl, These up different there. states have different terminology. I just got my broker's license in Florida it was like speaking, learning a new language. It yeah. was totally different in a lot yeah. of respects, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and, and that only grows you to a whole new level, like your strengths, like the muscles, you know, mm -hmm. like if you were working out, like your muscles, mm -hmm. you know, on how to continue to build that, you know, business, how to sell through the phone, mm -hmm. you know, how to build rapport, you mm -hmm. know, through the phone and, and continue that, that, that growth. So congrats yeah. to that. Thank you so much. I honestly think that it also takes early recognition. Um, as an agent, when I first started, Honestly, my service, the way that I was um, dealing with everything, and even though I felt like the weight of the world mm -hmm. was on top of me, because I do feel like I'm a true negotiator, like I, I go to bat for my clients, you know, I, I take it as if I've bought God knows how many houses at this point, mm -hmm. you know, um, because every single transaction, I feel like it's it's me. It's for my oh, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You take ownership. I do. Outcome. I take ownership. Mm -hmm. And so I, at first, I just felt like it was just coming at me. And I was like, whoa, whoa, it's just fast, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I said, I do need a TC. I need an assistant. You mm -hmm. know, this is just too much. And in order for me to better serve my client, I need the assistant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I have had a lot of uh, brokers contact me saying, we want you to come here. And I'm like, no, I'm not willing to give you my money, okay? Because I'm pouring it back into my clients. How? To pay my assistant. Sure. You know? And, and that way, I'm gonna keep on helping you know, and, and just keep on, on going, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, I think it's just early recognition that when you feel like you're, you're just stressed, just you probably need help. Get yeah. it. And you know, you're probably amazing at so many things, meaning the TC work you probably could do and, sh and shine mm -hmm. bright in. Um, right. But knowing that you probably shine even brighter within the negotiation skills, the exactly. rapport, mm -hmm. right? You'll be able to um, connect with somebody so quickly, right? And so being able to stay in that lane Correct. allows you the ability to shine even brighter and, and finding somebody to help complement you to, to, you know, take over kind of the ops and allows you to kind of stay in the sales. They speak about green and red, you know, activities, stay in the green, exactly. you know, and then, you know, hire out the red if, if necessary, Absolutely. right? I think there's a, mm -hmm. a book, red, yellow, green, or something like that. Is there one? 
I, I, I never read that one. Up, I don't we're know. Gonna, uh, we're going to look it up. I think, <laughs> I think there's a book there. <laughs> but basically, one. it's all about staying in, in your lane, mm-hmm. right? Um, and, you know, many of us want to do it all, right? Um, and because maybe we're trying to save a dollar mm-hmm. um, or two, or we enjoy all aspects of it. And I've found, too, when you're trying to build a bigger business um, and being able to serve more of the community, when you're able to stay in the lane that you shine the brightest in, mm-hmm. uh, you can really make a difference out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good job on that. Marblin, if you were to, um, if somebody reached out to you that's brand spanking new uh, to the business, what, what would you, what advice would you give them? I mean, new isn't that far from where you've been. I mean, I think, what, how long have you been licensed? Three years maybe now? Here, here in Tennessee, yes. Okay, three years. So what would you tell a new person that was just getting started? Um, it's not like when, my, when I just got started 39 years ago. I don't remember that for that well, but <laughs> I know you remember the last three years. What would you tell somebody today's market? You've got your hand on the pulse. You know what's going on out there. And you've met a young, hardworking mom like yourself, and you're going to give them some advice. What would that advice be? Not because you're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but go into an amazing brokerage. Okay. Because it, it's your foundation. You have to have a strong foundation. Mm. If you do not have a strong foundation, yes, you may sell, okay? But at the end of the day, you're just going to fall, mm. okay? Mm-hmm. So that would, to me, it, it's my number one tip, wow. okay? Mm-hmm. Build your foundation. Mm-hmm. I remember you used to say, well, Marblin, uh, right now the market, it's not the greatest, but you should sharpen your tools, sharpen them <laughs> and have your tool belt. And I'm like, sorry. We're going straight to the sorry. roasting dinner tonight. And she's got you, Monty, down yeah, pat. Yeah. I've said that a few times. <laughs> yes. Just and so I, I was like, okay, I'm going to sharpen those tools. So you know what? Get yourself into a really good brokerage, okay, and sharpen those tools. That's what I would say and have the determination to help people know the reason why you are in this business. Oh, mm-hmm. Amen. That's so that's mm-hmm. my love language right there. Yeah. You know, know the reason why you're yes. in the business. Mm-hmm. I love okay. that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Be moldable. Yeah. You know? If you have someone who has 30 plus years of experience mm-hmm. talking to you and whatever he's seen, she's seen, it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even if you have been in the business for a while and you have someone that is on the newer side, you can still learn. Mm-hmm. I learn mm-hmm. every single day. So be Amen. open. Amen. And and Monty and I do too, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're always learn learning. Mm-hmm. I think we always are able to share ideas. Um, but history does repeat itself, you know, so not to say Monty's been doing this a bit or a couple Four decades, bits, a couple bits. Them. but again, <laughs> you know, the markets, it's a different market yeah. today. Mm-hmm. Even last year, that was a totally different mm-hmm. market. You know, every year I feel like we're kind of putting it in the category. Hey, so this is a different market. <laughs> yes. Yes. So but this last year is was a different, different market. market. Yes. Rumor has it, this is a normalized, but different market, yeah, you know, yeah. type of thing. And so um, we're using some of the tools from way, way back way, way, way back in the day, you know, and we're bringing it back to life. Um, but it is great, you know, to, as a leader myself, to work with other people that are so coachable. Um, and now you're going to be able to see, you know, the eyes of others that are super coachable and you're able to, you know, mm-hmm. share your nuggets mm-hmm. and leave your success and all through the clues, you know, and however the saying goes. But, um, you know, that is something really powerful. And you're only at the beginning of your career, which is super exciting, you know. I mean, you're just at the right here and you're already doing amazing things. You know, someone who is fierce and fabulous like yourself, you know, it's, it's limitless, right? It is. There's no ceiling to what you can accomplish. Um, and that's what's awesome about real estate. You know, you can help and serve so many of the community. Um, and, and you're doing that one family at a time. So great job. Thank you so much. And, and one thing about, you know, we talk about the crazy market or it's changing and so forth. What you shared that your secret sauce is about this business will never be obsolete. Mm-hmm, it will never right. become obsolete mm-hmm. because that face to face, that heart to heart, that you know, you know, being committed to help somebody fulfill their dream, that will never get old, and there'll never be anything I don't think that will trump that kind of um, <clears throat> commitment to others. There won't be a lead program. There won't be a marketing brochure. Right. There won't be anything. 
that will ever exceed better than just caring for your clients and, and making them feel like you're, they are the only clients you're working with. That to me is the greatest compliment we can receive as professionals is you made me feel like I was your only client. Mm-hmm. When you're out there paddling like crazy, like mm-hmm. that duck mm-hmm. on the water. Yes, the water, and know? it's such a talent to be able to do that because it's not easy. You know, when the last client just rustled your feathers in a way, you know, yes. and you, you're, yes. you know, and you're just staying calm and now you're making them feel so special, you yes. know, and, and the only person in the boat, like yeah. you said. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I've had <laughs> months where I'm just, juggling god knows how many clients but and family ev- <laughs> right and family <laughs> On top life of that. and i have every single one of them feeling like it's just them mm-hmm. you know and that's a talent i i do want to share something um i just closed a deal which to me in my books it was a fabulous deal. I was able to negotiate um, over $20,000. Their monthly payment went down $300 um, a month. Uh, it was just all around amazing. And the agent was trying to negotiate me, okay? And I just, I knew it. And here goes something else this you have to know a little bit about psychology Mm -hmm. and you have to keep calm you know and that's what i've learned joey taught me that Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. when i first started i was very quick at talking and anything that would come to my mind i'll be like and i'll just say it i started studying joey Mm -hmm. and i was like every single time she says something she takes her time she paused and it's just the right words, mm-hmm. you know? And so with that being said, I noticed that this agent, he was just like, well, no, my client's not gonna go down. Um, the appraisal came down very low. And so he's like, I'm not, you know, he's not going down, he's not gonna take it, this and that. And I was like, okay, I understand, no problem. You know, let's just hold on, all right? I'll talk to him again. And I'm like, let me see what else he has to say, you know? And then he'll come up with a different story and a couple of conversations, different story, different story. And so I said to my clients, listen, I really truly feel like we're being negotiated here, but you hold on, you wait, okay? We're gonna hold on and we'll see what's gonna happen. This agent took us all the way to the day of closing, Mm -hmm. okay? And I was like, oh my God. So obviously I'm prepping my clients and I'm letting them know what's going on. Hey, if this happens, then, you know, we're gonna have to take this step, blah, blah, blah. At that point, I had to send a mutual release, you know, and because he, they're, they weren't going anywhere with this, you know, so mm-hmm. I, I had to tell him, hey, either we're going to do this or what, what's going to happen, mm-hmm. you know, he didn't sign. And I said to my clients, he didn't sign. I know for a fact that we're still in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in, coach. Yes, I, yes. I was like, we're still in the game. Just hold on. Let me tell you, the day of closing he said, my client said, yes, we're going to go down. And I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> Guess what? My clients then said, Marlon, they were just pulling us back and forth. At this point, we don't even want the house. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? You know, so I was like, okay, hold on. So here I come, I'm talking to the loan officer. And I said, please explain to them where the rate is at now what they got currently you mm-hmm. know uh, how much will they pay if they go out looking for another oh, right house, another yeah current know, rates right mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. It, it, the market has been so crazy mm-hmm. you know and from the time that they were locked in to that point mm-hmm. of the day of closing the rates went up about a point a full point you know and so we sat down we talked to them we explained to them and i was like listen unfortunately i understand how you're feeling and they were playing with your emotions but let's look at the numbers this is actually a pretty good transaction and we negotiated really Mm -hmm. good here Mm -hmm. you know and i I was like let's go back to the beginning when you fell in love with this home Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. and i was like "I i understand so then me i was just like all right they have a bad taste in their their mouth and so 
I need to make sure that they feel comfortable with what they're doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're like, you know what, Marbleland, I understand the numbers, let's go for it. We do love the home. My my daughter lives right in front of the street. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my best friend is right next door, you know, and so it's she's It's hard like, to it's not let the emotions get in her in her way, right. right? I mean, it's really, they're able to cloud, you know, our thoughts and stuff, because we are, we're gonna get upset with you know yeah, the ego, process. Ego they took us down this, exactly. this path, this yes. journey that was really rocky and, that and didn't have to be. I I told them I I understand it's not fair, you know, mm -hmm. that you were put in this situation. Mm -hmm. But now let's just go ahead and see the negotiating part. Mm -hmm. It was actually amazing, and it's towards your favor, mm -hmm. you know. And then besides that, then I was like, okay, Marvelin, now you need to make them understand that this wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault because I take every single family. They're important to me, mm -hmm. you know, because this is how I keep in business mm -hmm. to this day, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, please understand that I was always there by your side. And I honestly had one point felt defeated and I was like, my God, I did everything and I fought for this family, mm -hmm. you know, and now they feel like I wasn't there for them, mm -hmm. you know, and he the client even told me i spoke to other family members and friends and they said that they had a different experience with the real estate agent and i was like oh lord you know this is not personal you know this is just the way the transaction was mm -hmm. you know this mm -hmm. I wasn't I wasn't in control of it. You know, this is that the party, you know. Sure. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, I mean, I I'm receiving clients from them, you know, and, and they saw, wow, she did fight for us, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I, I started receiving phone calls, this family's um refer me to you, Marblin. I was just like Yes. Yeah, that's you amazing. Know? It is so hard because, you know, sometimes, you know, we can't make everybody happy, you know, and the process sometimes is is just frustrating and rocky, right? And you try to smooth it out as as, as much as you and I can, you know, mm -hmm. whether it comes from the financing piece or the seller or, you know, the inspection or repairs, yes. you know, there's so mm -hmm. many pieces, you know, with, with the business. Um, but you always want to land on your feet. Exactly. You know, you always want to land with the, you know, superstar move there <laughs> if you can. Because they say, you know, just satisfied customers will bankrupt our business. We have to really work hard mm -hmm. by the end of it Ready to really fans. try to, you yeah. know, create create really that raving fan and or wow them in, in such a way you mm -hmm. know um, and I, what I hear is you weren't going to let them <laughs> no. close unless they knew and really made you weren't going to force them either to close no. you wanted to make sure that they felt confident Absolutely. you know and comfortable with, with everything kind of navigating through all that but you know great job with not just letting them close um, without really kind of seeing and walking through that process to be reminded so you know you can continue to, to get warm referrals you know through them um, because right. they really believed in your ability Two, two great ob two great obs two observations of, of great job on that topic uh, on that ex experience marvel and one of them is let's go back to the th to uh, emotionally to the things that you you, yeah. you fell in reminded. love with about this house you reminded them about the emotional level at the beginning yeah. and then you spoke to their logic about what a great value this is and what it's going to be if you if we do walk away we're mm -hmm. i'm well i'm with you we'll walk away if that's what you want right. to do but is that what's best for you mm -hmm. considering the location with the family and the friends mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing so you you spoke to two different critical elements and that was them emotionally and them logically and then it, it then it only made sense and it's so mm -hmm. true because there's so many people that give up so fast um and as a lender we just find out that they've decided against the home, mm -hmm. right? Meaning for this reason or that, but they did not take a moment to even think about what happens tomorrow with the financing, with what you did, right? You wanted to show them, you know, this is an option, but if we do make a move, you know, what would it look like, you know? And mm -hmm. so I think you were truly thinking two steps ahead, which I think is smart for, for every agent to walk through that, that you know, exactly. and it could be a more positive. I mean, it could go either direction, mm -hmm. right? You just want to make sure that you have that, that information. So it's clear, you know, so they can make a, a, a wise choice. Right. Marble, it's been a thrill to, to hear yeah, you about always. your successes. You. And I'm yeah. so glad that Pennsylvania no, no longer has your address, but <laughs> Tennessee does. I'm so grateful for that. Yes. You just uh, keep you in the south you're here, such sister. A bright and oh, shining it. star in the industry. We're so grateful for you. Thank yes. you. Thank you for sharing uh, thank today. You. Thank We're you for having so me. Thank you for inspiring us to do more and be good. Yeah.
Thank you. Great. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. Can't wait to have you come back. You've been listening to the talk of Music City Real Estate. 